Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Elwa's Awakening. Well, we are right where we unfortunately died last time around. Okay, I just need to be not quite so afraid and actually, you know, get closer. I wonder how many hits this person is gonna take. Three. Okay. Not so bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we cannot actually reach that ledge with the crystal. Oh, this is just over here. I mean, I guess I could have figured as much. Weird. What's this whole thing good for, then? They do reappear, too. Oh. Not a lot of space there. Yeah. And here we're just gonna be shot at and land all the way down here. Huh. So that was all, all for nothing. Well, I guess we're just gonna make our way back up to the town, then. I mean, yeah, of course, there is that weird blue fire ominous-looking gap up there with the... I don't know what that was. Gravestone on the other on the other side, or just a stone tablet with an inscription, possibly? Who knows? But I mean that that magician person didn't really wasn't really guarding much of anything. Oh, oh, that was okay. Interesting. So you can Okay. You can apparently have your own block land on you, but it's just going to dissolve, interestingly. definitely make this jump now. I mean, you could easily make it from the other side, but I can just... I was actually kind of close. Um, and down here is a save point. Also... Ah, of course. There's this tower. That's why the map is continuing upwards. Um, of course, it's not something we can access right now. Okay, that was... Uh, Missed jump, a missed opportunity. Oh, left void tower. Okay. There was one other uh, sign near the beginning of the game. I didn't even think about trying to read it. Void tower. And we're back in the town. So, that's this guy now. Have something new to tell us? Yes, now that you have the green gemstone, you can continue to the east. There you will find the Shrine of Sea Monk. So I've heard before. Okay. Can you in here? Will this guy tell me anything new? I heard there's a flask you can store water in. Did you find it? Uh, no. Is that in the Sea Monk Shrine? The east, you'll find Gloom Lake. Go there and you'll find the entrance to the Shrine of Sima. Uh, if you go deep into the caves, you can find a magic book that is very powerful. Okay, deep in the caves, magic magic book. Gotcha. Copper coin? Yes, I did. When you are strong enough, go to Gloom Lake. You will then unlock the entrance to your final challenge. Oh, okay. I mean, Gloom Lake being also the place I'm going to go right now. Next thing. Right. I will try not to stare too long at the light, I guess. Still not sure if that's actually a thing, or just, you know... I don't know. This bridge is broken. Yes. I find it strange, strangely easy to misjudge the, um, the hitbox of my weapon. Hello. Uh, hello, in this well next to me, you can refill your water, but first you need to find something to carry it in. Okay. I don't have that bottle yet. Hmm. I also definitely need some sort of movement mechanic, movement ability to reach that. Right, central Alwa. Okay. 
We did get a sneak peek at this area before. From the depths of Amber's Asylum. That was actually pretty close. wonder if any... Oh, that's a... Much more unpleasant enemy up there. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh. Well, I guess... Hmm, I was gonna say, I wonder if there are any more of these illusory spike bits that I can safely jump into. And I guess I could probably test for those by trying to summon blocks and see if they fall through. Oh. Oh! We can definitely fall through here. Huh. I mean, yeah, you can kind of tell since the brighter background shows through this. I wonder if that's something I want. Also, apparently these magicians are now just a normal enemy. Oh, and I can hit anyway. You can just wail at them, it looks like. I guess that's much better than just them waiting for them to fire. Okay, and we got little eye bats, I guess? Got another save room here. Again, I'm loving the feature that save rooms are actually marked on the outside. In another Metroidvania, you know, I might have decided to explore up or down first and maybe died and been kind of sad later upon discovering that this was actually the save point right here. Right, this is the room that we saw earlier. Left, Amber Sicilian, yes. Right, underground chamber. Okay, underground chamber. Doesn't sound super special, but yes, maybe it is. Okay, we should be able to easily get that. I mean, relatively speaking, relatively easily. That's well, really quite easy. Shouldn't have said that before I actually got it, but you know. Slimes and a bat. I really want a ranged attack. I wonder if we're gonna get one. Okay. Easy enough so far. Got another one of those. Yeah, they're super easy to kill, actually, once you get up close and personal. No idea why I was acting so afraid before. I also should have checked this out before. Alright, that's the other side of that save room. Definitely can't cross that gap yet. I'm strongly suspecting that we're going to be finding whatever allows us to hit purple switches relatively soon. Oh, wait a second. This... How do I... Where do I continue? Um... What am I missing? Can't make it across here. There's no way, unless... No. Hmm. Wait a second. Okay, you... No. They will only fire as soon as I'm on their level. I mean, I can't just press those switches, right? I did try that. If not, I would feel quite silly. Oh, I can't? What? Are you kidding me? Do I have to fall into them? I, I definitely tried stepping on those. If not, I'm... I feel super silly. Actually, I'm sure over to the right here is where I'm meant to go. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. Purple switches, purple character, I guess. In the same way that green switches and green blocks interact, but... 
No, that definitely works. I just never tried it. Well, I feel a little bit silly now, but the only thing I really missed was back in Amber's Cell. In fact, I think I can reach that other that other switch. If you have commented about this in the past, I, I'm recording these first couple of episodes in one batch, so... Yeah. Don't expect me to uh, heed your advice that I apparently <laughs> could use very well um, for some time longer, however many episodes I decide to record at once here. Um, yeah, I'm going to pause recording and make my way back there yet again. Pretty sure I should be able to access that purple switch. Alright, now I know what happened. Of course, I died down here. And because I never made it across here. So let's try that again. Should be easy enough. In fact, if I do something like this... Yeah. And so I never reached this ledge. If I did, I would have most likely activated that. But, as it turns out, while that allows me to cross this gap, it does not actually allow me to uh, reach the crystal up there. Hmm. But that would, would have taught me that. I can just press purple switches. Hmm. Now, since that is unlocked, I mean, I guess I could ma make my way up here without killing myself. I was thinking about just committing suicide and, well, I could have done that here very easily. And, you know, just respawning back at my previous save point. I'm r not really worried about my death counter too much. But I would like to keep, you know, I don't know, unnecessary deaths. Oh, that was also unnecessary. Oh, might die here. Yeah, I was too close to the wall, trying to summon a block there. Never mind. I mean, only 10 deaths. There are going to be much, much more before the end of the game, but... Um, yeah, I would really like to keep unnecessary deaths to a minimum. Yeah, this room is actually secretly kind of nasty. Oh, okay, that was not the way I had planned this, but it worked out well enough. Right, this strange room here, where I'm still not sure what this block is all about. Because, for all I can tell, I don't really need it. I can just do this. I mean, it's a little bit finicky, I guess, but not really that much. And if I can figure it out as quickly as I did, it can't really be much of a trick. Still wonder what's up with that strange niche down there to the right. Maybe I did collect a crystal in there and I just didn't realize. And there's almost certainly something up here that I need to have some sort of double jump to reach. Right. Trigger this? Okay. And we're back up here. In fact, let's save again. Could have probably paused recording again, but you know. Right, that leads us back here. I guess these rooms are gonna serve as a series of shortcuts, allowing us to backtrack quickly through this area. Yeah, bad. Please. Right. So... We, thankfully we can actually continue. Could have probably also made this a bit... Made this across a bit faster. Um... Hmm... Wait a second. Oh, what? This block will... Oh, will all these... Will... 
my own blocks also float on water? No, they will not. Interesting. I mean, it makes no sense. Those things look like very solid rock. Or, I don't know, green material, but still very solid. And I got turned around again. Um, but I guess they're hollow or something. Can I just, yeah, I can just run across. Make a very tiny jump. And another one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Can I bounce off of these bubbles? Must be it. Okay, I can actually just stand on them. I was afraid they would, like, pop and require me to jump off with perfect timing, but no. In fact, the, the actual platforming in this game so far... Oh. Haha. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. Um, the actual platforming in this game so far hasn't been too difficult at all. Can I not just make this? I can. Okay. I guess I can just climb down here and, and if there were any, yeah, any tricky illusions there, I could have just seen it that way. Hmm, okay, I can grab that stone relatively easily. Or can I? I would love to find a save point before I try anything tricky-ish here. Left, Solstice Mountain. Down, Underground Chamber. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, and right, Gloom Lake. Okay, so I haven't actually reached Gloom Lake quite yet. I definitely didn't see the mountain yet. But I do see that there are two bosses way up. Right. So this castle? I mean, it looks more like a castle, I guess it's called. What was it? Something mountain? Solstice Mountain. Okay. Oh. Excuse me. Drop me a heart, please. Oh. Well, I mean can go like this, right? Yeah, it's actually easy enough. Could go down. There's not a safe point coming up immediately. Did get a heart there. There's a safe point. Good. Should I take a look past this? I guess. Chances are... Oh! Another warp! Oh, that's... that's useful. And another... Well, I guess this is also... It's another place where I could potentially... Oops. Do that. Um, refill my water bottle, if I had it. I wonder what water bottles would be used for, though. I mean, I've seen a number of these wells... ...across the map. Assuming not just the one in the village will give me water for my bottle. But that also that will also mean that there must be a number of places in the game that where where a bottle of water is gonna be used or something. Right, if I make it across here, actually I will get a gemstone on the lower path and one on the upper path. That should also be very easy to make across. Hmm. And of course, something is across this way. It's probably the one, the, the boss way to the right there is, must be where I'm supposed to go next. Hmm. But there is still that place below here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, hmm, actually it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna backtrack anyway. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, okay. He almost... He or she almost started shooting. So this bat is potentially... Well, more annoying than dangerous, but obviously any enemy can damage me. Just the same. Okay. Two pretty easy gemstones. I gotta say, wow, that was actually... A close. Oh, and I got damaged anyway. Whatever. Got a heart back, so it's all good. 
Okay, so this must lead to Gloom Lake then. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty obvious then. Central one, right? Um, I just need the four gemstones. Well, not gemstones, I guess. We don't really know what they're called. Except maybe we learn now from Saga. This is the entrance to the last challenge of your journey, Zoe. In order to open this, you need the power of the protectors. Okay, power in the form of a trinket that they drop. Do you want me to tell you about the four protectors? Uh, yes. Vicious Keeper. Well, we already defeated that one, but... You will find Vicious Keeper in Amber's Asylum. Will find? I mean... There's... Wait, could I have... Could I have left that place without defeating the Vicious Keeper? Maybe... Hmm. First dungeon you visited. Yes. Uh, the Sea Monk. Oh, okay. That's the name of the next Keeper. Uh, Protector, whatever. You find Sea Monk. To find Sea Monk, you must enter the Shrine of Sea Monk, which is just east from here. Just follow this path to the right. Crimson Guardian. The Crimson Guardian can be found on the top of Void Tower. You will find the entrance just outside the town of Westwood. Okay. Makes sense. And the Beholder. Oh. To find the Beholder, you need to see what others cannot see. And make it all the way up in Amethyst Passage. Okay, thanks. Right, that makes sense. So the one is up here. The, the other one is up from here. What are those spikes in the water? Hmm. They're a bit suspicious, aren't they? Also, oh, the map. Oh no, the map does continue up from here. So maybe this is going to turn into an elevator, or just teleport me upstairs. We will see eventually. There are a couple things that I wanted to check out back here, though, before I actually move on. Oh, well that didn't work out so well. Uh, slime. I'll do it. I wonder if those can actually drop health. I've yet to see that happen. Okay, so in fact there is just this one place down from here. Uh, down further in. to the left. Okay, that was actually a bit scary. It's right down here. Oh, I can't... oh, never mind, I cannot get across. The question is, can I make it to that gemstone? I don't think I can. I'm also going to be shot at here. So just time that... oh, and that leads to the underground chamber. Oh, okay. Cool, so that's a completely separate area, but without a boss marked on the map. Interestingly. Oh, okay, those can be one shot, that's good. There's also a safe point here. Huh. I wonder if this is entirely optional then. So far it looks like it. Will these guys do anything? No, not really. I guess I should probably go ahead and save, huh? Seems like the smart move in this case. Right. No indication as to where I might be supposed to go first. I guess I'll start exploring from the top. And make my way back down. Um, or not. Will these fall? They will not. Oh, oh, okay. So I can make it across here. Oh, that was... That could have worked. <laughs> I, I thought I uh, was... I thought I jumped too early and didn't expect that those bubbles to appear at the last possible second. It's actually going to be tricky. And we got another warp. Okay, good thing I came over here. And this seems like a way back. Or something for a double jump. Or 
whatever. I mean, I was told in that one hint talked about a powerful magic book to be found in the depths of the cavern, so maybe that's... Maybe it was referring to this place. Well, I guess that answers that. Uh, we will definitely need some sort of block that we... Uh, that we can summon that will be able to cross... Uh, to, to float on water, huh? At least that's what it looks like to me. Or else, how could we possibly reach that button down there and make it back up? Oh, I don't know. Seems like I'm missing a few tools here. But... There's definitely that one place up and to the left here that I can technically make it across. Although it does seem a bit tricky. Okay. If I do this... No, that does not work. I do have to hesitate. Yeah, it takes a surprisingly long time for those uh, bubbles to spawn initially. But maybe you time it by just, you know, entering the room and holding right, uh, holding left, but that's obviously not how it, how it works. So I hesitate a little bit. Oh, that was not long enough. And I don't need a full jump. Hmm. The reason why I'm trying to time this so, so tightly is... Uh, well, I obviously have to make it across all four bubbles without jumping into the spikes on the ceiling. And it's gonna be close enough the way it is. Ah, wow. I wish there was some sort of indication, because I really feel like yeah, I'm also using up a ton of lives here. Um, I feel like it's gonna be super tight in the end. Not to jump into the spikes on the last jump. It's not much leeway. Oh, come on. Okay, well. Yeah, and I'm not gonna make it. Wow, those are instant kill, actually. That's good to know. I, hmm, I hesitated just the tiniest little bit on the first bubble because I didn't think I would get it. I wonder if there is any kind of clue you could use to to know exactly when to jump. Also, the fact that these spikes are actually instant kill is ah was almost almost right. Oh boy. I wonder if I'm missing something some sort of item or whatever that would somehow help with that? I don't really see what what would, though. I mean, other than being able to see those bubbles before they actually spawn. Nope. Uh, oh, wow, I actually like, jumped into its hitbox and was pushed to the side or something. I wonder how much longer I should be trying this. I mean, yeah, as I said, there is no obvious tool that would allow me to traverse that more easily. Something that speeds up my jumps, maybe, because, well, jumping is kind of slow. Oh god, oh god. Oh, almost! Almost! Or do you just... No, the bubbles only pop as they reach, as they touch the, the spikes, right? wonder, maybe if I had a double jump, I could, like, skip the final bubble and do a low-ish jump from the, from the second to last. Nope. <gasps> oh my god. I uh, definitely touched those spikes there. Like, a pixel of, of my hood definitely scrape past those. Oh my god. Make sure to only tap the button ever so slightly. This is not filling me with confidence, I can tell you that much. Okay. Let's not get killed by slimes. 
Okay. Yeah, we cannot reach that one. Oh, how did we miss that one? Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Where does this lead? Back to central... Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's definitely good. So we never have to make that extremely aw awkward jump ever again. That's extremely good to know. And down here we can do any... We cannot do anything. We need whatever allows us to go past lightning doors first. Well, that's good to know. Um, I guess I'm going to... Kill, go ahead and kill myself. I know there's water to the left. There's spikes here. But those are normal spikes. Those only deal one damage. I might as well check. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Yes. Okay, that's one more death on my death counter, but you know, at this point, whatever. Leaves me back here, but now I have unlocked that shortcut and gone all the way here. I uh, got all the way across, explored that map. Just making sure, right, we have this warp pad activated. I am going to end the episode shortly. Right, this is a way back. And down there was something. Right. Oh yeah, down and down and to the left from here. There is that. We can see the book mocking us, but we cannot quite reach it. So, yeah. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and head for the Shrine of the Sea Monk, as we are supposed to. In fact, might as well take the warp. And, um, yeah, then we're... Oh, there's one that's undiscovered. Maybe that's a tower, if these go from left to right. Hmm. Underground chamber, right. Central Alba should be... Oh, I... The wrong button there. Can we not? Yes. Right. That's the correct one. Um, and with that, I'm finally going to end this episode. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.